Hey guys, me and Dave, it's 8-5-2020, uh, eight, eight, it's Wednesday, oh it's about 9.30pm uh, Central Time, so I thought I'd do a little video tonight just for the heck of it, um, I'm going to name this video Holy Cow, because <laughs> um, I got paid on Monday. And after paying all my bills and all this stuff, um, I got paid two days ago. You know how much I have for the month? I have $80 for the month after paying all my bills. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I'm like, I looked at my checking account today. I'm like, where did all my money go? Where, you know, because I pay rent here and I have all these you know, not a lot of bills, but I have some bills, you know, that are, you know, 70, 40, 50, you know, all this stuff. And it's just like, wow. You know, I got 80, 80 bucks for the month. And on top of it, we're going camping on Sunday. So, um, you don't have to buy firewood. That's 12 bucks. And, uh... You know, pick up a six pack of beer. You know, that's eight bucks, and you know that you know, and then I'll have eighty dollars left. You know, right now my check my checking account says I have two hundred in there, but it's just unreal. You know, you get paid and you pay all your bills, and it just it just goes like that. The only reason why I'm broke is because you know Minnesota, uh, they put me on SSI in this. You know because of this program, okay, so I, I, I'm guaranteed an income, which is good, okay, they put me on SSI, they don't want me to work, believe me, I applied at, you know, a, t a ton of jobs, they won't let me work, you know, they don't want me to work, okay, they want me here, they want me stuck in my room, they want me stuck in the house, they want me isolated, they don't want me to work, it'll interfere with their technology, you know, if they can't control the situation, you know, they don't want to go go through all that stuff. So, they want me here. They don't want me to work, you know. I'm thankful I have an income coming in, you know. Um, you know, but, so, but in here in Minnesota, they used to pay Medicare. You know, they used to pay Medicare for us. The state used to pay. Well, now the state doesn't pay it. So, you know, that's $155 taken out of my check every month, you know, that I have to pay. You know, so it's, you know, my checks are $155 less. You know, that, that $155 could go a long way each month, you know. So, I'm not living off of very much money, um... You know, and, you know, there's some things I can cancel to, um, give me more money. I mean, I could, you know, cancel my Sling TV, I could cancel my dental insurance, I could, you know, all this stuff, you know. But you gotta have some fun in life, you gotta, you know, you gotta have something to watch, you gotta have, you know, dental insurance, you know, I mean, it, you know. It, uh, you know, stuff like that you got to have, um, to kind of get you through it, you know. But, uh, so that's, a, that's what's going on with me. Um, it hasn't been that bad of a week, to be honest with you. Um, they kind of been laying off me. They might hit me next week. We're, go we're going camping on Sunday. I could get nailed on Sunday. I just, I don't know what's going to happen. They give me some time off, and then they hit me for a week. They give me some time off, and then they hit me for a week. And when I get hit, I get hit hard. You know, I get hit hard. To the point where, like I said before, I'm on the computer writing to people because it gets so bad. Begging for help. I am calling the FBI, begging for help. Leaving messages, because we have in the FBI uh, office downtown, you know, so I'm contacting people. It gets so bad, and you get so desperate, you contact people to stop the torture, you know. It comes that close, that close for me to call the police, 
you know? And like I said before, if I get locked up, I probably won't be back. You know, I probably won't be back. You know, if I get locked up again. They almost push you there. They almost push you there. I'm talking real torture. Real bad torture. 24-7 for a week. You know, they got some wicked frequencies they can use on you. I'm not going to go into it, but they have some wicked frequencies they can use on you. If they want you in the psych ward, they will put you there. You know, some people are like, oh, I can't... I'm the oh, they want to push me. Oh, and it's going to the psych ward is not going to happen, and all this stuff. And guess what? If they want to put you there, they will put you there if they want to. Okay? They can, they can do whatever they want. You know, and there ain't anything you can do about it. You know? They got some wicked frequencies. You know, they used on me. They haven't used them on other TIs. And I don't know why, but I seem to get the brunt of it. All the time, you know. So if they want, you want to do something. Guess what? They can do it, you know. So if you think you're beating these guys, you're fooling yourself. You know, they can do whatever they want. You know, whatever they want um, to you. You know. So anyway, it hasn't been that bad this week. I've been enjoying myself, taking tanner a couple times a day. I smoked some food today. I smoked ribs. Smoke some corn, you know, corn on the cob and all this stuff, you know. You know, I've uh, been trying to enjoy myself this week. Um, the week's half, half over. Um, we're going camping on Sunday, Tanner and I. And um, it's supposed to be super hot. So we're probably not, you know, we, you can't even check in until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're probably... Not even going to leave here until 5 o'clock. Because it's going to be really, really hot. And I don't want Tanner stuck in the van when it's really hot. If it's over 80 degrees, I'll have to bring the fan and all that stuff. So, that's our plans for Sunday. I can't afford it. You know, I can't afford it. But we're going anyway. We're going to work it out and we're going to try to go. We're going to do it the cheap way got to get away, you got to enjoy yourself, you know, when I come back, yeah, I'm going to pay, because I'm going to have 80 bucks left for the month, for the month, you know, so there ain't going to be any spending, or, you know, and, you know, there ain't going to be anything, you know, no eating out, or, you know, it's going to be a tough month this month, in, um, in stuff, and, Bella, what's wrong, um, so it's, that's kind of what's going on with me. You know, they've been laying off me, you know, which is good. I've been taking advantage of it. you got to take advantage of it. Get out. Enjoy the water. Enjoy the park. Enjoy. Got to get out there. You know, so I talked to my sister last night, and she's like, do you want to go for a bike ride on Friday? I'm like, yeah, I'll go for a bike ride. Well, go, go air up your tires and... You know, we'll go for a bike ride on Friday. Well, then she texts me today. She's like, Friday is supposed to be super, super, super hot and muggy. Do you want to go on Thursday? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't care. You know, go on Thursday. And um, so we might go tomorrow. Um, so I went tonight, and they aired up my tires on my mountain bike. And so it's all ready to go. And so we're going to go out and go for a bike ride tomorrow. Um gotta get out there you guys you know I'm, I'm you know you know I'm I'm talking in general you know I know people are going through a hell of a time okay they're being tortured they can't do you know there's they're stuck they're being tortured they're being perpetrated all the time they're, you know I'm not talking about you guys I know you're stuck I know you can't get out and enjoy the weather and enjoy stuff like that okay but in general if you're able to get out and enjoy the weather enjoy the water enjoy you know outside activities and stuff like that get out there and enjoy yourself the guys that can't I know who you are you know I feel you know my heart goes out to you guys that are going through all this tough 
stuff. I, you know, it, it hurts me to see people suffer and in misery because of this program. Um, they just won't let up off these people, you know. Like I say, they're strong people put up with this, you know, you know, and stuff. Um, but, like, if you're able to get out and enjoy the weather and all the stuff, you know, environment, outdoors, you know, do it. If you're if you're able to get out there, I I know that everyone can't do that. I'm not I'm not talking about those guys, you know. Uh, that are being hurt, and you know, perped, and you know, you know, I've been there too. You know, it's it's no fun. You know, I've been locked up in the psych ward for five weeks, five weeks. You know, and then they sent me to a treatment center for three months. I was in their custody for four and a half months with no money, no nothing, you know. I was getting tortured 14 hours a day. They would let me sleep at night, but 8 o'clock in the morning until 10 at night, I would get tortured. Not a day off, swear to God, not a day off, you know, for four and a half months. I was in their custody. And they were doing whatever the hell they wanted to do to me, okay? I've been there, you guys. I've been there. You know, so... Um, I don't take anything for granted. If I get a break, I'm out there. You know? Um, I'm out there trying to enjoy every... Even if it's one minute. You know, even if it's one minute. I don't take that for granted. I try to enjoy myself, I'm, you know, you know, thanking God for that one minute of freedom, you know, basically, you know, and stuff, so, it's, uh, you know, so, but on a positive side, I'm gonna try to go for a bike ride tomorrow, um, and try to enjoy myself, I smoked some food tonight, and last night I went and got a pizza, and, you know, Little things like that, you guys, if you can afford it. You know, I mean, I got a $6 pizza from Little Caesars. Not Nothing expensive, you know. Enjoy that little pizza. You know, little, little tiny things like that can bring you joy, can lift your spirits, can, you know. We got to do that, you guys. It just, ugh. <laughs> you know, we got to do something. You got to leave the house. You know, you got to leave the house. If you're able, is what I'm saying. If you're able, you know. I know everyone can't do that, but if you're able, you got to break this stuff up somehow, you know. I got all the dogs down here hanging around, hanging around me and stuff. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would do a short video. I'm trying to encourage you, send some positive vibes for you guys and all this stuff. I'm praying for all you guys that are getting hit hard. You know, you don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. We don't deserve this crap. You know, um, you know, I wish people would do more. You know, I, I hate to say it. I wish people would do more. You know, I can't do it all by myself. I can't write to all these people and I can't do it. You know, if five people, ten people did it, you know. You know, maybe it'd make a difference. I don't know, you know. You gotta try, you know. Don't give up. You gotta try. I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that because, you know, it makes me upset when we got people out here fighting for their lives and then you got other people complaining about how bad their torture is and they don't do anything. They don't, you know, they don't do anything, you know. They don't do anything, you know. You know, it makes me upset. I get offended. You know, I mean, it's like the rest of us are fighting for our lives. And you say you're fighting for your life, but you won't do anything about it. You know, it just, it's like whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for that. It just, it bugs me, you know. It bugs me. I let things get to me, you know. It's like. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Staying safe. Get outside. It's the middle of summer. We got one more month of summer here. 
you know, go to the beach, enjoy the water, go to the lake, do something, take your dog out, you know, do, do something, you know, don't sit in the house and be depressed all the time, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I care for you guys out there, and I'll talk to you later.